Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's introduce ourselves to the alkenes. What is an alkene? Well, it's basically a hydrocarbon chain that has at least one double bond, which means it's not fully saturated. It's what we call unsaturated or an unsaturated hydrocarbon because of the double bond. What that means is that the general equation of an alkene is CnH2n, which means there's twice as many hydrogens as there are carbons in the hydrocarbon chain. Now that's different from an alkane because that one has two more hydrogens than twice as many hydrogens than carbons. Now we could actually turn an alkene into an alkane by hydrogenated, by hydrogenating the hydrocarbon or fully saturating the hydrocarbon by adding additional hydrogens, we can go from an alkene to an alkane. And that's basically the difference. We break the double bond, add a couple more hydrogens, and now it's an alkane. Naming convention is basically the same as the alkanes, except instead of ending with an ane, we're going to end with an ene, like ateen, propene, butene, pentene, hexene, heptene, octene, nonene, and decene. There are some common names, especially for the smaller ones of the molecules, such as ethylene is the common name for ethene, propylene, common name for propene. We actually have butylene instead of butene, but it's always the same molecule we're talking about. And then there's some special ways of naming the molecules depending upon where the double bond occurs. For example, one butene indicates, the one here indicates, that the double bond occurs on the first bond, not the second bond. If the double bond is here instead of here, then we would call it 2-butene. And they also use the convention but1-ene or but2-ene, which I don't like so much. I'd rather call it 1-butene or 1-pentene. That makes it easier. We also have ways of, of making the chain, the way we write it out, a little bit shorter by combining all the CH2 sections of the chain and just combining them like this. For example, heptene, which has four of these CH2 portions in the chain, we simply put parentheses around the CH2 and indicate that there's four of them. So we have a CH2 in the front, double bond, a CH, then four CH2s, and then a CH3 in heptene. Now we'll get familiar with all the various naming conventions. This is simply an introduction to what alkenes are. We're also going to learn the various ways in which we can graphically represent them. Notice that here we tend to uh, write the chains in such a way that it indicates something about the structure of the chain. Notice that that's not necessarily the case. Here you would think that it's a linear molecule, which typically alkenes are not linear. They tend to kind of zigzag back and forth, and we'll learn a little bit about that as well. So that's our introduction to the alkenes. Stay tuned, and we'll have lots more information about them.